Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Tuesday, Tuesday, September the 24th, 2024. We are reading from chapter 24. Seven-minute timer is set. Read it with the King James Version of the Word of God, Leviticus, the 24th chapter, the first verses, and it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure oil beaten for the light to cause the lamps to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation shall Aaron order it from the evening unto the morning before the Lord continually. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. He shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick before the Lord continually. And thou shalt take fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof. Two tin deals shall be in one cake. And thou shalt set them in two rows, six on a row, upon the pure table before the Lord. And thou shalt put pure frankincense upon each row, that it may be on the bread for a memorial, even an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Every Sabbath he shall set it in order before the Lord continually, being taken from the children of Israel by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be Aaron's and his sons, and they shall eat it in the holy place, for it is most holy unto him of the offering of the Lord made by fire by a perpetual statute. And the son of Ishmael and the son of an Ish Israelitish woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And this son of the Israel, Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. And the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was Shilomoth, the daughter of Debri of the tribe of Dan. And they put him inward, that the mind of the Lord might be shewed them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that hath cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curses his God shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregations shall certainly stone him, as well the stranger as he that is born in the land. When the blaspheme, when he blaspheme, the name of the Lord shall be put to death. And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. And he that killeth a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. Breach to breach, eye to eye, tooth for tooth. As he has caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. And he that killeth a beast, he shall restore it. And he that killeth a man, he shall, he shall be put to death. Ye shall have one manner of law as well for the stranger as for one of your own country. For I am the Lord your God. And Moses spake to the children of Israel that they should bring forth that had cursed out of the camp, and stoned him with stones. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 25. And the Lord spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Six years thou shalt Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the Lord, a Sabbath for the Lord thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth of its own accord of the harvest thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of thy vineyard, neither gather the vape grapes of thy vine undressed, for it is a year of rest unto the land. And the Sabbath of the land shall be meat for you, for thee and for thy servant and for thy maid and for thy hired servant, and thy servant that sojourn with thee. 
and for thy cattle and for the beasts that are in thy land shall all the increase thereof be meat. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee seven times seven years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hollow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. A jubilee shall that shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it, neither the grapes in it of the vi of the vine undressed. For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. You shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. In the year of this jubilee, ye shall return every man unto his possession. And if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor, or buyest aught of thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, thou shalt buy of the neighbor of thy neighbor, and according unto the number of years of the fruits, he shall sell unto thee. According to the multitude of years, thou shalt increase the price thereof, and according to the fewness of years, thou shalt diminish the price for it. For according to the number of the years of the fruits, doeth he sell unto thee. Ye shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Wherefore ye shall do my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land in safety. And the land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat your field, and dwell therein in safety. And if ye shall say, What shall we eat? The seventh year, behold, ye shall not sow nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. And ye shall sow the eighth year and eat yet of old fruit until the ninth year, until the ninth year, until her fruits come in, ye shall eat of the old store. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. That will bring us to tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, September the 25th, 2024. We'll be reading from Leviticus, the 25th chapter, and the 23rd verses. Praise God. Those of you who come and you're blessed from the readings, you can be a blessing to the woman of God by simply going to dollar sign Mama Pam 23, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. That should be on here somewhere. There you go, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. No longer do we have PayPal, or you can go to Zelle. I am in the process of transition. I'm in the process of moving. I could really, really, really use some financial support at this time. So give as the Lord lays upon your heart to give. And if not, then that's okay. God bless you anyway. And remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And remember, Mama Pam loves you. And there's absolutely, positively nothing you can do about it. Until the next read, God bless.